Hello everyone, it's Pierre and welcome back. In today's video, I'd like to tell you about what ultimately happened to my red belly Paku. By the way, all of the footage in this video is of the same fish. I bought the Paku sometime in early 2017 as a 3 inch juvenile from Petco for about $7. As you can see in this timeline, it grew very quickly in the last few years. In fact, it would have grown much faster if I had overfed it, which is really easy to do given how much these fish can eat. It isn't surprising that they are considered good eating and are often aquacultured for this purpose. Pakus, like I said, are very easy to keep as they tolerate pretty much any tropical water conditions that the average fish keeper can provide and are not picky eaters at all. They are also generally peaceful and are very cheap, not to mention beautifully colored, especially when young. They do become a duller, plain, silver, black color when mature, and their eyes seem to migrate lower down the sides of their head, which makes them look a bit like Quasimodo, but for many people, including myself, it actually adds to their hog-nosed, piggy looks, which make them even more adorable. Part of their appeal also is that they can become very docile and eventually can be fed by hand and even petted. I do recommend caution if you try this as they have strong teeth and a powerful bite. They create a lot of waste and to keep my Paku's water clean, I actually kept him alone in a 5 foot 120 gallon aquarium that was filtered with a planted tank. It was a big fish in a total of 195 gallons of water but that only held him for so long as you can see. These fish really do better in an outdoor tropical pond or an aquarium of at least four to 500 gallons in size. Again, as I've mentioned before in another video, pakus are one of the species of fish that I think should not be sold by pet stores. They just grow too big and too fast for 99% of the people who buy them. Unfortunately, they often wind up being released into ponds and streams by people who don't know what else to do with them when they get too big. In fact, you'll see many videos on YouTube about how people have huge pakus that actually need to be rescued. So what happened to my paku? Well, I actually rehomed him. I was lucky to have found someone who took my paku in and who plans to put it in a 500 gallon aquarium in the future. The last I heard and from the pictures he sent me, the Paku is doing really well with other large monster fish and has quickly become his new owner's favorite. Thanks for watching and see you next time.